In the Middle Ages, humans cowered before God and the devil. They lived in terror of God and the devil. The establishment, uh, the Enlightenment came along. And the Enlightenment was the effort to break free of those fetters, to stop being living in absolute terror of God and the devil all the time, and to have uh, one's life, uh, so to speak. In other words, to be able to, uh, uh, in, in order to be able to explore, to, to, to invent, to uh, take chances. Uh, ironically, it goes all the way back to, it does go back to Jesus, who said, let the sons be forgiven the sins of the fathers, which is a, a profound remark in terms of future technology because so long as the sons were guilty of the sins of the fathers, little experimentation was going on in human research about how things work. Because a father wouldn't dare to do something if his sons were going to be blamed. Mm -hmm. You know, in other words, it cut down the number of chances you take. The moment the sons are freed from the sins of the fathers, certain fathers will say, well, I'm going to try this, I'm going to try that. I'm going to invent a round thing and put a hole through it so it can roll. Maybe it'll make things easier to roll. You say, well, of course, I'm getting my history mixed up <laughs> about 30,000 years, but that's all right. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, the, the, the idea of that, uh, the, the idea that I can take a chance without destroying my lineage uh, is something that Jesus gave uh, uh, humankind. And um, it didn't really take what, what remained was the terrible fear of God and the devil and, until uh, the Enlightenment came. And with the Enlightenment, it was as if like human beings began to say, we can form a civilization. We can be separate from God and the devil. They can be just a factor in our lives. And then there came a point where technology came in, where humans, I think, have been affected and saying for the last decades, certainly more and more since the Second World War, we are more important than God and the devil. They may not even exist. They hardly exist. They, uh, they're, uh, they're, they're historical curiosities. They're psychological, uh, uh, they're psychological curiosities. They're, they're weird. We humans, we are all there is. And I think that's essentially that most of the people who will, it doesn't matter if they go to church or not, most of the people, if you scratch them hard, believe that much more than they would recognize. Until they come close to death, and then very often they get religious. But, but short of that, they tend to live their lives wishing to be free of the burden of either believing in God or a devil. 